Hi and welcome to DerekWeaver.com. In this video, we're going to detail the calibration of the W977 balancer. In order to do that, you'll need a 14, 15, or 16 inch wheel in good condition. Not necessarily balanced, but in good condition. First thing we need to do is put the parameters of the wheel in correctly. If you haven't done so already, it would be a good idea to watch the video on the calibration of the distance arm for the W977. It is an automatic data entry arm. So by pulling the arm out and holding against a bead seat, it automatically puts the distance and the diameter of the wheel in for you. The only manual entry you'll have to put in is the width using the rim width calipers. The next step in the calibration is to press the home key. It'll read set opt. Next, distance up. Next, home key twice. Now it reads position and it gives you a number indication on the right side of the display. We're going to rotate the tire and wheel assembly till we get to 110. Hit the people key and rotate to 120. Hit the people key again the display changes to add zero. We're going to spin the tire and wheel assembly with nothing on it, simply by lowering the hood. We're going to take our three and a half ounce calibration weight that was provided with the balancer, line the location up on the right or outer plane directly at 12 o'clock. Paying close attention to that location will help the accuracy of the calibration. Next, we'll spin the balancer. At this point, we'll remove the calibration weight from the right plane, line our location up on the left plane, and hammer the calibration weight precisely at 12 o'clock. Spin the balancer again. It will save the data and the balancer is calibrated. After calibrating your balancer, it would be a good idea to balance the tire to verify that the machine is indeed working properly and then imbalance the tire to see whether or not the machine is measuring the imbalance correctly. To do this, we'll balance the tire. Once we've verified that the tire is balanced, next we'll take a known weight, in this case we're using a two ounce weight, and we'll just hammer it on our wheel anywhere. And spin the machine up. If the machine is working properly, it should read the weight amount within a quarter of an ounce of what you put on, and also the location should be correctly at 6 o'clock. You can verify both planes by then removing the 2 ounce weight from the inner plane, hammering it on the outer plane, and doing the same test. Also line up the location indicators to make sure that your 2 ounce weight does indeed show up at 6 o'clock. This concludes the calibration procedure for the Weaver W977 balancer. Thank you for using DerekWeaver.com for all your automotive equipment needs.